yo, yo, what's good, world? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Gio. I'm back with another one, man. This one right here is something real big for Alaska, Atlanta. Stuff gonna start turning up, man. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of things gonna be changing. Your boy Big Meech, they say he was released today. He was supposed to be scheduled for 2025 or 2026, but he's released today. I guess it was on good terms. Now, I heard people alleging that, oh, he snitched or he told. Man, that dude done did his time. Leave him alone, man. And, I mean, I'm like this, man. The dude that snitched on them brought it all down, and I don't even think he locked up. So y'all need to bash the dude that snitched on they whole empire and brought that down before y'all even think about trying to talk about Meech, man. Like, Meech, he been doing his thing, you know, and, and he out now, you know. A lot of things going to change in Atlanta if he's still, he still going to be in Atlanta. But I know this, all the podcasters, everybody's going to be tearing him up. That dude going to be getting some bags, you know, and... uh that 50 cent stuff, the BMF movie, all of this and the dad, I, I'm i pretty sure it's going to be a dead end. Or if it did be successful, it's because of Meech. He's out right now. He's going to make sure that everything is followed through exactly just like the story. That's what Blue Da Vinci was getting mad at about 50 putting out that movie and it's not correct. And, you know, you're putting bad things on people's names in the movies, how they try to portray stuff that ain't really happened. So, I'm not sure if the, the BMF movie is going to continue since now he's out. Or, you know, he might start it on his own without 50 because he don't need, you know. I mean, I ain't going to say he don't need nobody, but he's already connected. So, you know, but I already know it's going to be a lot of bottles getting popped right now. Um, For sure, big parties, big parties. Your boy Meech is at home. Big Meech, BMF. Like your boy Rick Ross said, he think he big Meech. That's what that was. BMF, Black Mafia family. Check this out, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Salute to your boy, man. He done made it home, man. He doing his thing. You know, he done served his time, man. And I know he happy to see the family and friends, everybody reconnect, man. And it's, it's going to take a little while to rekindle, man, because he done missed a lot. But they about to turn it up for him, man. So y'all check this out, man. Drop in the comments. Talk to me about this, man. It's something big. It's something I'm going to do a live on, too, man. Your boy Big Meech, man. He was holding it down. The biggest dog holding it down more than the damn hip-hop artist was, man. You know? And they really got the style from them, to be honest. The way that they was flossing. They learned it from him. So, just so y'all know, that's what type of time it was on. Check it out, man. Hit the subscribe button, man. Run that up for me. Run them likes up. Hit that subscribe button, man. Run it up. Subscribe, subscribe, man. I appreciate all y'all love and support, man. Y'all already know, man. Peace, love, happiness, man. Stay warm. Stay cool. Stay out the way, man. Till the next one, I'm out, y'all. Peace. And your dad's getting out soon? Yes, yes. He just got granted the new two-point reduction. And I can't wait. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, we had the biggest party ever. You know, but we definitely want to make up that time that we missed together we missed a lot of time growing up you know i, I missed my father growing up so. i love that yes and according to reports again uh big meech is reportedly free from prison uh, and he is reportedly right now in a halfway house man so salute to Big Meech for getting free, man. Getting out of prison, though he ain't all the way out yet. He in that halfway house. I hope that he has great success uh, on his journey going forward in life. He lost a lot of years of his life being behind bars. He ain't all the way, you know what I'm saying, free, free yet, how he can move. But, you know, that's what they normally do sometimes when you've been down like that. They put you in a halfway house, man, and, you know, let you get it right. But hopefully things will work out for the brother, man. Uh, going forward, and he have much success, man, in his life going forward. Yeah, man, uh, Big Meech is out, man. I'm pretty sure you probably gonna see him in all the rappers' videos once he shake loose and get going, man. So you guys, let me know what y'all think. Big Meech is uh, reportedly free from uh, from prison and in the halfway house right now, man. 
And so, salute to Big Meech, man. You know, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Go on. Don't get nothing like this nowhere. Everybody move like brothers, and then everybody from different places. Milwaukee, St. Louis, Detroit, Texas, Atlanta, Cali, you know what I'm saying? Florida. We got people from everywhere in our mind. Everybody move as one. Everybody is prospering in some kind of way, in their own way. Every man plays his own role. And it's and everything starts with the leader. I'm a good leader, so I got good people that follow. You know what I'm saying? It's simple. If you if you can only be like the nigga that's running your crew. If you got a robbing ass boss, then you're gonna be a robbing ass crew. If you got a real boss who know how to sacrifice and take the bad along with the good and show his crew how, know how to be men, then this what you get. Everybody's shining like new money. And ain't no other crew like this in the world and there never will be another. Not black. It never will be because I said that if niggas like this are shining all together, being together, doing shit every day, then they gonna fall out over some money or somebody gonna rob, steal, and kill. I never like phones. See? You like to talk on the fucking phone. I don't do that. I'm not gonna be on the phone telling you to load this car and get these things down south. That's there's a big difference between me and T. I never wrote nothing down about nothing. No nicknames, no nothing. Anything written down was my brothers. A really big issue was whether or not they were able to identify Demetrius' voice on phone calls. I'd put together a rock solid team. I mean, we were working just nonstop on the United States of America versus Demetrius Flannery. Potential consequences were a life imprisonment. I can't point at the mistakes that brought me down because they brought me down on my brother's indictment. You know what I'm saying? He's not the total blame, but the thing is, I didn't get caught for the things that I do, though. When the evidence started rolling in, we get 14,000 pages.